generations, the Kekchi people of Guatemala have lived in harmony with the land, sustainably farming in the mountains above Lake Isabel. We have always called the land Mother Earth. Without the land, we wouldn't be able to live. But in the 1960s, nickel deposits were discovered on Kichi land near Lake Itzibal. The state of Guatemala granted transnational companies fast licenses. No one filed a complaint because they were afraid they'd be killed. You can see that there's pollution moving toward the communities. As a result, the water is poisoned, and many of the fields are not as productive. Fearing for his people's future, Rodrigo Tote stepped up to try and secure their property rights. He began helping the people of Agua Caliente document their historic ties to the land and registering their ownership with the land registry office. When we asked for our land titles, we learned that the pages proving our ownership had been torn from the registry. The government knew that if we couldn't prove ownership, then we couldn't prove the land was legally ours. A new mining company arrived with plans for expanding the nickel mine into the mountain communities above the lake. Security forces began evicting families. They've tried to destroy us so that there would no longer be any indigenous people left in Guatemala. Determined to fight back, Rodrigo began collaborating with local and international NGOs. Together they started building a case against the Guatemalan government to secure Kekchi land rights. My people told me, have no fear. You fight for us, and we will support you. In 2009, they filed their case with Guatemala's Constitutional Court. After a two-year battle, the court ordered the Guatemalan government to issue land titles and restore the pages torn from the land registry. The mining company had no legal right to expand onto Kekchi land. It was an historic victory. I was overwhelmingly happy because the highest court in the land ruled in favor of a small, humble community. Despite the court's decision, the Guatemalan government and the mining company have brazenly ignored the ruling. Undeterred, Rodrigo is taking his case for land rights to the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights to prove that the state promotes mining by willfully violating indigenous land ownership. This is precedent setting. There has never been a case in the Inter-American Court acknowledging the right to indigenous land ownership and the right to protect the environment. Rodrigo has paid a high price for his activism. In October 2012, his oldest son was murdered during a stage robbery. His younger son was injured in the attack and left for dead. The strategy was to kill my son, to scare me off. I lost my son for this struggle. I'm sad because my family is no longer complete. But I will continue this fight. We must be united, because if we're not, we cannot win. It's only unity that gives us strength, where we can all feel supported to fight for the common good. For outstanding environmental achievement for Central and South America, the 2017 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Rodrigo Tote, Agua Caliente, Guatemala. <laughs>